For the past year and a half, I was working as the Secretary General of the Reflection Group on the Future of Europe, the so-called gonzalez Wiseman's Group. The group published its report to the President of the European Council, Herman van Rompuy, in May this year, where it listed the challenges that the EU will be facing between now and 2030, as well as some recommendations. These challenges can be listed as A, B, C, D and E. A stands for the automation of industrial production and the, result, the resulting abundance of goods and information. B stands for BRICS, for the BRICS countries and globalization in general. C stands for climate change and energy security. D stands for demographic decline. And finally, the E are the E technologies. Technology development is fast in all areas, but the internet and other communication technologies are the most influential ones. It is by communicating that we are setting relationships with other people. We are making a family, creating work or business. It is through communication that we are creating a society. Taking together, these transformations represent the end of an era. A means the end of industrial and information age and the dawn of what some call the creative, conceptual or even emphatic age. B stands for the end of Western dominance. C stands for the end of below ground fossil energy and transition to above ground sustainable energy. D stands for the end of population growth and use dominated societies. And E stands for the shift from the paper to the digital communication media. These, tra these transformations can be traced back as the root of the current economic crisis. They are global in nature and will requ require solutions by global actors but also responses at home, as the, as the Reflection Group recommended, and I quote, our shared vision is that technological change, change, globalization and aging of populations call for urgent structural reforms with a view to enhancing flexibility, com competitiveness and dynamism. All of these transformations, of all of these transformations, one will have the most profound effect of on our society, the Internet Communication Revolution. After almost 500 years, this is another Gutenberg moment. It is a communication revolution that is reshuffling the cards, it is leveling the playing field, and in many cases, it is resetting the economic race and the race towards well-being. 500 years ago, it was Europe that took the advantage of the communication revolutions of the available cheap paper and print. We in Europe embraced it, other civilizations were not so successful at it. Today we have to make the right decisions again. And this is where projects like Paradiso and other Internet sciences in general come in. We need a broader, more holistic, more interdisciplinary understanding of the potential of the Internet and, relation, and related communication evolution. It is not enough to develop technologies. It is important to understand how they change the society. The ICT revolution will reshape it. As, my, as Martin Heidegger someone wrote, somewhere wrote, the essence of technology is nothing technical. All of us who are technical researchers and innovators should never forget this.